Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm going to show you a fantastic application that will allow you to save and restore the configuration of your desktop environment in Linux. One of the more unique things about Linux is that it's possible to customize almost any aspect of it, and a common change that people often make is the look and feel of their system. Now, this could be something as simple as setting your favorite wallpaper, adding a new theme, changing the icon set or fonts, or even just completely changing the location of taskbars and how the windows interacts with a mouse or keyboard. In either case, once your customization process is completed, it would be wise to take a backup of your config. And this is where Save Desktop comes in, which is an application that allows you to backup and restore the configuration of a wide range of desktop environments, including GNOME, KDE Plasma, Mate, XFCE, and Cinnamon. Now, more specifically, this application will allow you to back up your icons, fonts, themes, backgrounds, GNOME extensions, Cinnamon applets, KD Plasma widgets, and many other tweaks that you may have made to your default installation. And as a bonus, it will also allow you to back up your installed flatback applications, although I will note that this is disabled by default. So the basic premise is to take a snapshot, and then if you make any undesirable changes, you can easily revert, or alternatively, copy it to another machine and then replicate your setup. Now there are a couple of ways that you can install Save Desktop, although for most people I would recommend you have a look at the Flatpak method. And the main reason for that is that it's going to provide you the latest stable release regardless of what your distribution choice is. However first, we do need to enable Flatpak support for your system, which can be done by following the instructions that are relevant to your distribution. Although I will point out that if you're using a recent version of either Linux Mint or Pop OS, then you can skip this step as Flatpak support is enabled by default on these particular distributions. Now in my case, since I use Endeavor OS, then unsurprisingly, I would just follow the instructions for that particular distribution. But in either case, once Flatpak support has been enabled, then we can move on to install the application itself. And there's two ways you can do that. You can click on the big install button here, which will typically launch your distribution's application center, which is usually going to be something like GNOME Software or KDE Discover. And from there, the Flatpak installation process can be run through. Or alternatively, you can install using terminal commands, which you can see if you press down the down arrow here. In either case, once installation is finished, then simply launch Save Desktop as normal using your application launcher. So the application itself is straightforward. You've got three tabs at the top. You've got Save, Import, and Sync. So if we start with the Save tab, this will allow you to unsurprisingly create and name the snapshot of your configuration. You can also dictate what items should be included in the configuration archive, although this will differ depending on your desktop environment. So for example, since I use GNOME, then I have the option to save icons, themes, fonts, backgrounds, and Flatpak apps. And finally, you could also set up what's known as periodic saving. And if you want more information about how that works, you can click the option here where it says learn more which will load up the wiki page that references that particular function. If we move along to the import tab, which as the name suggests, will allow you to import a previous backup, either from a file or from a list. And the final tab is sync, which will allow you to synchronize a configuration with other machines on the same local network. Again, if you want to know how that works, well enough, you just click the option here where it says how it works. And once again, this will open up the particular wiki page that's relevant to that particular function. Okay, so let's see this in action. So first, I'm going to name the backup archive, which I'm just going to call it, well, we'll just leave it as Ryan. I'm going to choose to backup everything except Flatpot apps, and I'm not going to set up periodic saving. So what we need to do now is click on the save button, and let's choose the location where to save it. I'll just pop it in downloads. Let's click select. Now, as the process is finished, you should get a configuration has been saved message. Okay, so let's now confirm that the backup can be restored. So what I'm gonna do, as it's the easiest way for me to do that, is I'm gonna reset all my preferences using GNOME Tweaks, which is gonna reset the fonts, icons, and background to the one that comes with GNOME, or at least the Endeavor OS's default installation of GNOME. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so now that everything's been inverted to defaults, let's restore the backup we created earlier. First, let's open up Save Desktop. And instead of pressing Save, we're going to press Import this time. I'm going to click on the option here where it says Import from File and select the backup we created earlier. So it's under Downloads. Double click on it. And this is going to go through the process of restoring your settings, which as you see, it's just changed my background. 
Now you will also get prompt to log out to finish the process. So let's quickly do that now. Okay, so I've just logged back in. And as you can see, everything has now been restored to my custom configuration. I've got my fonts back, I've got my background back, and I've got my icon set back as well. And that's it, all done. So in conclusion, it seems that no matter whether I'm using Windows or Linux, I always end up making my personal customizations to the overall look and feel of the computer. And it's fantastic that Linux now has this simple but indeed effective method of backing up and restoring these personal configurations. As always, thank you very much for watching guys. And if you did find this video helpful, then please don't forget to leave a like, share the video, and subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. Thanks again, and I'll catch you next time. Bye now.